uh, it just it just occurred to me. I said uh, the word lobotomy in this last video that I made earlier today. So we'll see. They start using the word brain wash, brain uh, and cult member. Let's see if we get if I can get these. Uh, if they'll start using the insult lobotomy. Cause like I said, it seems like they have no, uh, they have been lobotomized. But I thought lobotomized it made you more lethargic, you know. But like I said, maybe it's a different type, you know. Maybe it's non-invasive, non-surgery, go in through the nose and they take out some kind of common sense, you know, something. Wood, wood part is the front lymph nodes, uh, you know, like this guy zombie and zombie finds you, you know, to where they don't care. You know, it, it's what what did they what did they take out? So let's see what they say about lobotomy. Lobot they've been lobotomized, but why they how did they choose who to lobotomize? What what, what is the purpose of that? They see, so yes, I'm really thinking that there's something that they've done something to these people. Look at Adam Schiff. Look at his eyes. So how did they choose who to lobotomize? And and you would think, why well, didn't they just the bottom eyes of everybody? You know, then we wouldn't know. You know, I, I I don't want that to happen. So what what type of procedure? And when did they do it? Well, they could have did it at any time. You know, we don't know. And they suppose you know they got the drugs, scopolamine. They said they use, but it it they didn't take away their uh, being offended mechanism being offended and so also I seen uh, another thing and one guy I follow he uh, says something about and that's a it's just, yeah, that's weird you know so you're you're gangster you sit and wait all day to, when a particular uh, target comes out also, the uh, the MS-13 NBC they're using, you know, the now they're talking about target. Okay, but they could they you could say they're using the word target as in target black people to as a target uh, demographic. But no, I think they're they're using the word target like we use. Uh, we're targeted individuals. They're trying to again because they're trying to stop people from leaving. And they're saying they're used that people are bots. Hell, they can, in that case, they're even saying I'm a bot because we leave comments about black people not just automatically voting Democratic. And it's like, I, I know for a fact I'm not a Russian robot. Does this look like Russia? Not at all. It was just a nigga came out that apartment complex. Uh, well, apartment building. Maybe there are some niggas in Russia now, but I don't think so. So anyway, this one person with this uh, again, you know how people say things like they're 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 on your side or, or saying like they agree with this what they're saying, but then they throw in something salty. You know, this one guy, he uh, uh, there there you know, supposedly there was an outrage about a Peloton commercial couple of days ago right only reason i'm repeating it because it does have a lot to do with this control and brainwashing so you got all these uh comments and on twitter about how the guy is uh what do you call it uh uh make it so basically a hinting to his wife because the commercial he gives his wife one of these peloton you know you can look it up uh bicycles for christmas and they said people got mad, you know, it's supposed to be the man is, uh, uh, you know, just whatever. It's like here, you know, you can get on this bike, bitch, and, and ride and get back in shape. And then, you know, they're like, well, that's not what the commercial looks pretty benign to me. You know, it's, just, uh, it's Christmas. They got a kid. The guy looks like he loves his wife. She loves him. But they see her, she gets on and she, you know, she gets a phone, takes a picture on herself and starts riding it, you know, riding it real fast. And 
They say, oh, see, they, he made her start exercising, body shaming, and then they're like, she's skinny anyway. And, you know, the, the actresses, both of them, all, all three models, the kid, the two dude, the guy and the wife, and it's, uh, uh, they're like, well, she's skinny anyway. And, you know, then you got to, I had to point out, hell, you know, they didn't, it's a commercial, but you also assume, since you're doing all this assuming, that that's what she asked for. Hey, I want one of them. I don't want to go because a lot of a lot of people don't like going to the gym. Even if you are skinny, you just don't want to go for a lot of reasons. You don't want to be around, you know, it's a, a certain crowd. It's a gym crowd, the females and the males. You don't want to be around. Some people don't. And it's, you got the money. So that's what leads me into what I'm talking about. This way he kind of went a little bit suspect. He says, because uh, people were talking about also it's an expensive piece of equipment. And he, again, you could agree with that, and I agree with that. And he said, oh, well, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. That's, it is what it is. Okay, I definitely agree with that. But then he goes off into another tangent, and he says, uh, if you uh, if you yourself want to buy a $1,000 uh, iPhone every six months, that's your business. Okay, well, again, that's why I agree with that. It's, it's a business. But then here's where it doesn't seem like he really agrees with it because he said, well, because this is America. And it's like where he exposed himself because you, you can buy a luxury item. And, you know, and it's like, see, they're going against what you're saying. It does You don't have to put a, a title or, or whatever on it. This is just America, period. So if somebody can afford, it's not because it's okay here. We made it okay to just buy frivolous things while poor people suffer it's because this is the land of opportunity you don't have to stay poor instead of praying for a new iphone the thousand dollar iphone every six months how about praying for this new job and, and praying for uh uh politicians that keep new jobs coming and keep job wages going and also the fact instead of trying to make them raise a wage in a job that you know, you can just, oh, well, I can go get training and get a higher paying paying job. I don't want to work here at, you know, such and such cashier. I want to be able to afford the thousand dollar phone that would take six checks working here just to buy. Uh, I want to work somewhere where I can make the, you know, get, get it. And, you know, if I want to, I, you know, so that's why. It's still, you know, you you're still with that that almost like sound like you still with that socialism shit, you know. Uh, you you sound on the right track, but then you now you, well, uh, you know, sound like you're down in them like that's like they you are saying you do agree that they're they're stupid. It's like it's their money, man. They're not stupid. If you and even if you got the money, you know, some it look like this person he has the money, but okay, you don't want to. That's your fucking business. It is what it is. Get over it, y'all. Y'all not gonna change this to where people can't buy what they want to. Like I said, just fucking uh, change your job. And it isn't that hard nowadays. I mean, if that's what you want, you got to put in that extra sacrifice. You got to go to school a couple hours after work. You know, you got to work with, you got you got kids already. Uh, you got to find and tell them, tell people that's what your goal is. You know, I want a new job. You know what I mean? Somebody should be able to help you there. And it's not family members, there's assistance. You, live, you should, you know, if you live in uh, most cities, it's going to be. Assistance. I don't know what that's not God telling you how to do that. That's that's basically the devil, you know, to, uh, that's telling you uh, that to tell another person what they can buy. It's not none of your business. Stay out of their business. It's not what nothing there told you to tell them what they can buy. That's on them. If you want to do something with else with your money and don't want to buy it, or like you can say, you don't know how much money that person has, or you're not supposed to, unless you're, you know, part of this program spying on people, you don't supposed to know how much this is. First of all, you're breaking the law, the laws of our country, and it says that in the Bible, long before this country existed, follow the laws of the country you're in. So you're done right there, off the rip. So it's like, again, like I said, stay out of people, You get out their fucking business.
about their phone, about their car, about whatever they got, their food. It's against the law, bitch. And it's the end of it.